think I think writing and literature is is intrinsically political. You know, it's kind of a false dichotomy we've, we've invented that there's political literature and and apolitical literature. You know, the the act of writing of, of existing in society, in relationship with other people, is inherently political. And whether or not we're explicit about the way our political systems and our governments work. Or if we're just talking about, you know, things that are not as often the best, relationships between people and, and their stories, I think it's, it's intrinsically political. Read as much as possible. I know in a lot of places, I've actually spent a lot of time in East Central Africa, and where libraries are readily available, I think the, the internet's become a great tool for the aspiring writer. Even if you, you've got to go to an internet cafe, you know, you can find great literature online. And even a lot of the classics that have a copyright. I encourage them to do that. And I think at the end of the day, to, to be themselves, you know, you can learn a lot from other people. But at the end of the day, as a poet, I think it's most important to be true to, to yourself and to your inner voice and to learn to trust that. I think I, I'm particularly drawn to poetry because of my interest in language, and actually language as a tool of power, and, you know, whatever that means, whether it's, it's my writing a love poem to my wife, which is a very sweet, uh, I hope, mutually equitable relationship, or if I'm, you know, writing about a kidnapper in Mexico City, you know, who, who is speaking across class and economic boundaries and um, trying to use language to convey that struggle, you know? I, I wanted access to Bangla language writing I had a sense that I was missing out. And I think Bangla is, is one of the world's largest languages and it has a very active literary community. I think that translation is, is a tool for, it's a, it's a way to both enlarge our world and I hope to, to engage with their writing.